Well, hello there, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I promised for a hot minute that we would be doing another playthrough. Starting a little bit earlier than I anticipated, uh, we are going to be doing a 100% playthrough of Stardew Valley. I don't know how long it's going to take, but we're not doing any mods, we're not doing any of that. Because this could take months in real life, or weeks or however long it takes us we're eventually going to complete this playthrough this is going to be our definitive stardew valley playthrough and vanilla i don't want any mods to get in the way i don't want anything we're just going to do the vanilla stardew valley playthrough and see how it goes really do hope you all enjoy it thank you so much for hanging out you wonderful wonderful beans and um one other thing, we do have the Safi plush coming out on Makeship on uh, August 3rd. So keep an eye on that. I'll be sharing it on Twitter and everything. Um, now, let's go ahead and figure out what we want to do. We're going to start a new one here. Not even Horse Pam. Not even Horse Pam. Just saw a short about you bombing up your farm. Oh, my God. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. We need a good name, too. Also, let's do a vote. Let's do a poll on... We're going to be doing polls throughout this for what we can do. So y'all in the streams will have some control over what we do. Um, what, like the farm that we choose. What farm should we choose? Question mark. Um, I think that the first one's called Grandpa's Farm, right? Is that what it is? Standard farm, river, forest, hilltop, wilderness, or four corners. Let's do, um, so regular, four corners. Four corners. Um, we can do the wilderness, the night, uh, hilltop farm, rocky terrain, and a widening river. Ah, forest farm. That's the other one. So forest or add an option. Beach wilderness. We don't have grandpa's farm. That's a mod, I think. Wilderness because we need more chaos. Or we'll do wilderness. All right. So let's see here. Y'all get to vote on it. Ask the community. Y'all get to vote on what farm we do while I make my character here. Uh, we're gonna choose the same hair that we've used many times. I think we've is it, we've gone with this one and we've gone with the mohawk a few times. Let's see, what do we want? What do we want? Oh, that was that was some fancy hair right there. The swoop de swoop. Mm hmm. Lazy life. Thank you for the thirteen months. Let's go more Stardew. How's everyone doing today? Thank you for the thirteen months. And Jammy with the 38 months. Always love Stardew streams. I still wear my Chunky Cow Farm sweater. So soft. They are super soft. Thank you. The stream's bitrate is higher than recommended. Uh, we recommend... 4,500. We'll see. Hopefully the quality is good at least. <laughs> We got Wilderness at 36%, Regular 9, Four Corners at 28, and Forest at 25. Wow, y'all really want some chaos in this one, huh? Alright, I see how it is. Trying to bring some chaos into my life. <laughs> I feel like we've done Wilderness before. It went pretty well. And let's go with that hair this time. Get a nice black shirt, some short shorts, nice beard. Make her eye color blue. We definitely are going to get a cat. Y'all are just feeling awfully chaotic today, huh? Alright, alright, I see you. I'm trying to get a good view there. Purple hair? Well, let's go with some purple hair. Pants color. Mm? Blue? That kind of matches, right? Okay, we need a name. We need the most glorious of names. Uh, McThickums. <laughs> As it always is. Ah, the farm name, though. Hmm... Uh, chaos. Well, it's looking like it's wilderness. Y'all got a little bit longer to vote. Good old booty butt farm. You know what? Booty butt farm. Favorite thing? Butts. Skip and try. <laughs> what is life? <laughs> booty barn? <laughs> Thickendale? <laughs> ah, yes. I like Thickendale. Perfect. All right, let's go with it. Uh, so we got to pick a thing. Um, all right, y'all have 
15 seconds. Right now, Wilderness is winning. If anybody wants Four Corners or Forest out there and wants to do me a solid, y'all got 30 seconds to vote. Starting now. So, this is your moment. This is your moment right now to exert your dominance over my life. I, you can make me suffer or give me some good luck. I have control right now. Four Corners. So, when did... When you get a star drop, it'll taste like butts. Oh my god. All right, what, uh, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Nine seconds left. Remix the bundles? Oh, y'all really, really got me jacked up if you want me to do that. All right, end poll right now. Wilderness, okay. Uh, good old wilderness farm. I think we can do that in settings, right? So, community center bundles. You know what? Let's remix it. Guarantee one year compatible. Yes. Mine rewards. Remixed? Sure, why not? Spawn monsters on the farm. Normal. Profit margin. Yeah, we'll do normal. Random seed? Oh, you can do a random seed? What the hell is that? Interesting. Purple fairy. Thank you for becoming a bean. Wait, what's the random seed all about? Screw it. Welcome to Thickendale, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, did that say I picked... I told you I was their seeds? You know, I kind of like the way our hair looks. I don't think I've ever used this hairstyle before. I like it. <clears throat> I received 15 parsnip seeds. Okay, as usual. White Gertz, thank you for the 42 months. What a two. When well, living off the land, there's one for all your greenhorns out there. The chop and wood search, wild forage, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't think anything happens the first few. We're, we just gotta make sure to watch TV every day, essentially. We really wanna min max this. Using a mods, this is a 100% vanilla playthrough. Random seed effects lock events and drops. Oh. Plus, we've got the 1.6 event coming relatively soon. Or not event, but 1.6 update coming up relatively soon. That'll change some stuff. Living Ploof, thank you for becoming a majestic bean. How are you today? Welcome back, welcome back. Just starting makes me want I am cow. <laughs> Maybe that was the plan all along. Super hyped for the 1.6 update. I don't think we have a date for it yet, but new events, new secrets, new things. Much excite. Much excite indeed. And playing Stardew again makes me want to want makes me want to do or make I am cow. I had so much fun working on that. Maybe one day. I'm gonna make you start another playthrough. Oh no. Lower the volume a smidge. Hmm. What does 100% playthrough mean? It means we're gonna complete 100% of the things. It doesn't really matter how long it takes. Um, at a certain point, we're gonna unlock the uh, the key place, or chi place. I don't know how to pronounce the dude's name. Um, and he has this, this board that tells us how much of the game we've presented upon his whims. And we're going to 100% that. Are you going to romance? Oh, we're going to leave that up to the universe to decide. I'm not sure yet. We might even do a poll. I don't know. We're going to see who takes my fish first. Just got off work. Time for vodka and tag. Maple syrup. Thank you for the super chat, you wonderful bean. And Jamie, my stardew. Still at the... Oh, no. I don't know how to come back to normal. <laughs> Jamie, you gotta uninstall that mod pack. Or start a new game without... Yeah, uninstall the mod pack. You gotta go to your Stardew Mods folder and take them all out. Uh, how are we doing on energy? Pretty not bad. 100% is making all recipes, crafting all items, befriending everyone fully, getting all the star drops, catching all the fish, and getting the monster slayer perk. 
excuse me, take your fish. Yeah, the first thing I ever did in Stardew Valley was try and woo somebody with fish. And the person who accepted my fish as the greatest present was the one that I decided to marry. Or at least didn't treat me like garbage for handing them a fish. Reluctantly accepted your fish. Pretty much, that's pretty much how everything worked out. <laughs> it was just a constant reluctance of accepting the fish. But it's the only true way to find your true love. Somebody who will love you for who you are. Oh, God! Heh. <laughs> oh, we need some snacks. Uh. Ooh. Oh, we done messed up already. This is what I get for reading chat. We gotta go find some turnips or something. Oh my god. Oh, we didn't even plan our parts. <laughs> We're already starting off year one at a net loss. Oh god. What a tragedy. We'll be alright. Everything will be great. Boop, boo, doo, doo, boop, boo, 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 boop, 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 boop. Wait, eat it? Eat. And then... God, we need to find so much more. Sleep? I don't want to sleep. I need to get stuff planted. Oh, that's the real question. Joja Run... Oh, or Community Center. I don't see any food around. Community center? We'll do a poll. Hold on, let me set up a poll. Alright, so many of you have been asking for a Jojo run for a hot a hot minute. So let's see here. Jojo gets so boring. Plus, you know what? I'm making an I'm writing the poll, but I'm not sure. Um, let's see here. So, all right, I'm going to do the poll. I'm going to do the poll. I was going to executive decision it, but I said I would let y'all figure it out. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna influence this one. What should we do for our Okay. I deleted it and I have to rewrite it again. Joja run or community center. I'm just gonna hope that y'all made the right decision. Or y'all make the right decision. There's a reason. There's a reason for it. Let's hope y'all figure it out. <laughs> Penguins produce an oil that helps their feathers to retain body heat. That means the oily birds get warm, as usual, in butts. Wait, what? And as usual, wait, I don't get it. Oh no, did it go over my head? Penguins produce an oil that helps their feathers to retain body heat. That means the oily birds get the warm. The worm, the worm, the worm, oh my God, that was painful. Okay, so it looks like community center. So the reason I wanted to, to do the community center was because the, um, we remixed the bundles, right? So it'd be a first time doing the new bundles for the community center. 
And I think that is a, uh, a good choice. So we're gonna go, <laughs> y'all made the right choice. The Morris storyline is so good. Oh wait, I missed the, uh, the chat uh, from Grace. Jojo runs are way more fun if you do a reduced profit margin. That way it's still a little challenging. I cannot believe there is no food anywhere for us to be able to eat right now. You just farm money, so it's just farming, mining, and fishing. It's all about money with no fun or accomplishments. Okay. We will have to do a Jojo run at some point. Because I would like to see the story that's involved for it. But other than that... I think this 100% playthrough run makes more sense with the community center. So, I'm glad y'all chose that. Do we look for spring onions? I went to the one spot and there wasn't really anything. Let's see if I can get how much of the stuff I can get planted, at least for right now. Two. Oh, God. It's so close. that there. Ooh. We're going to have to check some trash cans. I've never... Oh, no. I've never a single time ever... Oh, my God. This is the worst beginning to a Stardew playthrough ever. Ooh. Is there any edible fish on the beach? I don't think so. Do these Are these edible? I don't remember. Yeah. Stick those in her mouth. Boop. And we're going to go check some trash cans. Alright, so... It doesn't take any energy, right? Oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> People get upset when we... I've never done the digging through the trash cans process. <laughs> I completely forgot that we... Uh, we're not supposed to be seen doing it. Can we throw this in the garbage? zero energy. Don't really need that right now. And yeah, we're doing vanilla Stardew Valley. Uh, no mods this time. I don't, want, I don't want anything to do with mods this time. I feel like it always kind of takes away from the 100% playthrough because then it becomes so much uh, it's going to be hard to follow. It's going to be all of that stuff. Not necessarily hard to follow, but it's going to be hard for me to focus on 100%ing it. And I actually truly want to do 100% playthrough of this this time. And we don't know how, exactly how long it's going to take to be able to do that. I don't think there's anything edible on the beach either. Got the Dave the Diver because of you. Now I want to play this too. Ooh. You got to finish Dave the Diver. It's such a good game. Maybe. We go over here. We just need like one or two things and we should be good. The oysters. Tag fully 100%. I feel like this is a game I could happily 100% things. Aside from maybe the whole friending every single person in the game thing. Is, uh, is, is going to be enjoyable, I think. You haven't even started Dave the Diver yet, but it's so good. Let's see if we can at least get what we have watered. We still need to plant three more. My plots are all messed out. Maybe we'll sneak through the trash can again. Nothing. See, I just never have good luck with the trash cans. Y'all always try to get me to be a trash panda and it never works out. Ever. 
You're off to a great start making friends by digging through the garbage in front of people. Look, if your friends aren't going to accept you for being a dirty little trash panda, are they really even your friends? I think not. Oh, God. I got a prismatic shard from a trash can on my current playthrough. I don't know what kind of gods you pray to, but that is an unbelievable level of luck that I will never, ever... I think we might just have enough stamina. Eight. Six, I can do... Oh, so oh. oh, God. Oh, and the slimes are out. Two parsnips left. All right, you know what? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's darker than the last season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's true. I need like a little button to like spruce it up at night because we're going to be working through the night a lot on our first, uh, probably first couple of seasons. It's usually how it ends up working out for us. Okay, we're good. Did I miss you saying you were doing any mods? No, it's super clean run, no mods, no shenaniganry. I want to go get Willy's wet rod, old rod. Sorry, not wet rod. Um, yes, yeah, so <laughs> he's got a little something, something for us. Ooh, little treat. The fishing at the beginning is going to be the key to to our uh, to our success. Forest monsters on the farm have a chance to drop prismatic shards. Well, ain't that some fancy, fancy stuff. Let's make a chest. Start putting stuff in storage. We're going to spend this day fishing as much as possible. I'm not going to clean up the farm. We're not going to do any of that. I will bring a hoe to dig up stuff. And maybe should be good. Well, this, uh, what'd it do? <laughs> Stamp of sorry. <laughs> Willie's is just a weird. It's just a little weird at the beginning, right? I'm not gonna touch. I mean, you know what? I'm gonna touch more trash cans. My goal is to only get a prismatic shard from a trash can this playthrough. No other way shall I acquire the glorious prismatic shard. If I get one any other way, I have to throw it out <laughs> into the trash where I need to find one. <laughs> If you want the legend this spring, you gotta get a high level of fishing. Yeah. So it's fishing day. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the... Yeah. Anyways, we get his old rod. Alright, and then we're going to go all the way up north to the Northlands. Basically, the big lake. If memory serves, that's the best place for us to just spend as much time fishing as possible. Most energy, etc. Oh, don't forget I bring a chest to put on the beach. Did you know there's a mod to marry Willy? <laughs> I did not know that, actually. <laughs> Willy is best girl. Zesty Panda, thank you for the 12 months. How are you? 
clams. Mussels. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and dig this out. That was useless. It was worth a shot. Nothing to say. Thank you for the 12 months. Ooh, hello, friend. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Penny. Thanks. This looks nice. See, she wasn't super rude to us. I feel pretty good about that so far. We got to make sure to talk to everybody, like, every freaking day. That is going to be probably the most annoying and difficult part of this whole 100% playthrough for me. Because we're going to have to spend a lot of time giving everybody gifts. Although, once we get rabbits, it's going to be a lot easier. Because then we just carry rabbit's feet around with us all the time. Eat a daffodil? No. Give it. Give it. Give it. Brianna, thank you for the five gift memberships. Thank you so much. Welcome, Faith, Libby, Sarah, Space... And gamer nerd. Rabbit feet make it so much easier. Yeah. Wait, did I actually? I didn't even talk to her, did I? Baby, come back. Oh. Talk to me. She really wants to get to aerobics. Good place to talk to several people at once. That's fair. All right, we need, you know what? Does daffodils count? This is a great gift, thank you. Oh, hail you. Yeah. Stranger, hello. Befriending Linus is the only uh, true goal in life. Give daffodil to level up Caroline. That's the easiest first fish ever. Get Daffodil to level up Caroline. Get Caroline to two hearts to get green tea plant recipe and then craft a bunch for money. That's, that's a solid tip. Solid, solid tip. Hmm. Fishing, the bane of everyone's Stardew Valley career. Although I'm a fishing freaking expert. What we. <laughs> the chub always makes me happy. Uh, not happy, but <laughs> laugh. Mr. Scope's going on. Oh, God. Mm, you know what? We can eat that. My goal. To level up fishing as quick as possible, I need to get perfect catches, so I really need to, like, not screw it up. Whoop! Nailed it. The more perfect, the more better. Just started my first playthrough of this game, and it felt compelled to befriend Linus. 100% do it. Definitely do it. The tech's first fishing experience was amazing. It was literally the worst experience I've ever had in gaming, ever. I think I was trying to play with a controller, too, or something. It just didn't feel right. just brings back such good memories. Such a good vibe. Mm 
Frustrated screaming was the best. Thankfully, I've gotten a lot more comfortable with it over the years. Like the fishing in this one better than Dreamlight Valley. So you don't have people getting mad at you for messing up. <laughs> or do we? Right, so we're going to just stonk up on fish as much as we can. Oh, Lord. Why? Excuse me? Still absolutely insane that just one person made the entire game from artwork, story, music, everything. Oh no, it's here, just open the door. Does Stardew Valley have mods? Um, not in the workshop. You have to go to a specific website to be able to get mods. Nexus mods is usually where you go. Um, then you can download like the Stardew Valley uh, mod manager. Um, Nexus Mod also has like a program that you can download to manage all your mods for you too, which makes it easy. You can download mod packs. I think my old stream still have a link to the last mod pack that I used, which you just drag and drop into the folder and everything works, other than I think having to download. Oh no, I screwed up. Oh god dang it. Tear. No. EA can't make a working game with 500 people. It's so true. I'm Power Beast! Sorry, I had to chase the cat out. There's so many mods and Nexus mods, but you have to be careful with some of the things that you might see. <laughs> I keep trying to play the game with the controller. Jesus. I was like, why can't I fish? But Tyr loves you? Oh, I know. And I love Tyr, but there's, a pro there's an appropriate time. For God dang it. An appropriate time for love and cat pets. And he chooses... Oh, no. Chooses the most inappropriate times. So we dropped frames at some point. I wonder what happened. You should never name your cat in this game after Tyr. He just wants to be loved. Or I should name the cat. Maybe. And there's definitely a few really good quality of life mods that you can get. There's the chests anywhere. Um, the thing that lets you know if things are for community bundles, like additional information, like relationship tracking. There's a lot of really good quality of life mods that I do very, very, very much recommend. Um, trying to fix the stream upload. See if that fixes whatever's going on. The mods can very quickly go out of control, though. You start with, like, one or two, and then you have, like, a hundred. Dang, I'm not doing good. Oh, no. Everyone with about 120. Hack, you're up. <clears throat> now I'm curious. Uh, since this is a 100% playthrough, do y'all want to see every single day in order in streams, or am I allowed to maybe get stuff done behind the scenes? Like, maybe we need to do something particularly grindy. Maybe, like, diving through the, uh, the mines. Y'all have seen me do that a bajillion times, or something specific. Do you want to see all of that, or do you want me to do some of that behind the scenes, you know? Because then I can use my Steam Deck. <laughs> Show it all, baby! <laughs> I just ate a chub. A tasty little treat. 
want to see it all. <laughs> Whatever keeps Mama Rutabaga happy. Super secret Twitch streams for the grindy stuff? That's certainly an option. Well, the thing is, like, some of the things I, would, I wouldn't mind trying to get done before streaming, you know? I'm sitting on the couch watching TV. Oh, God. We'll, we'll play it by ear. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, my God. I'm a failure. Nurse Serenity. Thank you for the 34 months. You know, we want to see all the things. Also, we should name the cat Safi in honor of the plush. It's a good idea. It's a great idea. Also... What? There's going to be playing Polya. Let's do a... Start a poll. Will you play Polya Beta? There we go. Um, so I will be doing participating in the closed and open beta starting on the second. Um, the Safi Plush will be releasing on the third. You don't know that game? Imagine if Stardew Valley and a 3D MMO had a baby. Um, where you get to do all of your farming thing, but also socialize, visit other people's farms, work together, go on quests together, do all of these things, and actually have like a full-blown social version of Stardew Valley. That's Essentially what Polly's goal is. I've been incredibly excited for it. And uh, cannot wait to play it on the second. Is it PC only? The beta is PC only. Um, it will be releasing on... Um, not PC eventually, though. Alright, let's... You know, No, we're going to keep fishing. We're going to keep fishing. The goal is to level up fishing today. I've been playing Polya since the original pre-alpha, so I'm a bit invested in it. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be a way to install it on the Steam Deck or any of those other handheld things, too. There's usually, where there's a will, there's usually a way. I don't know, can, I'm, not, I'm actually going to try and figure out if that's a thing uh, that we can do. Let's get rid of the garbage. It's 9 o'clock. On a Saturday. And the fishies are getting in our pocket. Oh, wait. Oops, I can't afford Polya. It's free! You can't afford free? It's free. By the way. It's found Anno 1800 for PS5. Ooh. God. Such a good game. Just created my Polya account yesterday. Look forward to playing it along with the community. Nice. Polya is completely free. Um, it is a free-to-play MMO, which means at some point in time there will be, I'm assuming, uh, in-game cosmetics and things like that that are going to be purchased. Probably battle passes similar to Dreamlight Valley. Now, extensive, we don't know. But if it's a free-to-play MMO where we all can play together as a community... I think it's pretty exciting, because not only that, we have a very large community, which means there's probably ways that we can get everything in the game for free anyways. So, uh, I think it's going to be a really fun experience. I'm excited for it. Ooh, we got some Joja Cola. Let's head back. We're not going to min-max this day. There's a lot of in-game cosmetics. They're kind of ridiculously expensive, but it's cosmetic. I actually haven't seen any of the in-game purchase stuff. But it is cosmetic, which is the good point. They have, like, there's nothing that increases, like, energy or, like, respawn stuff or anything like that. The last time I played it, there was... Well, I'm supposed to talk about it. <laughs> I say, I'm not aware of anything that is like that other than potentially cosmetic stuff. I can't afford to pay me. Will you pay me to play? <laughs> Ooh. Um, yeah, let's go to bed. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the in the beta. I'm really excited to play the beta. Um, I think it's going to be a really good time. I'm super excited for it. I forgot to watch TV. Oh, 
for the queen of sauce. Yes, people can stream the beta. Um, the closed beta will be streamable to only those that have access to the, the closed beta. The open beta will be streamable as well. So y'all will be able to see a bunch of it. Whoops. All right. Let's get a fish chest. Gonna chop down some trees. Sundays of the Queen of Sauce. And yes, the NDA ends with the beta. Um, highly recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Um, because we will be making a guild, and we will all be playing together. So if y'all love farming games and things like that, I recommend checking it out. Because we'll get to play together. And the best way to play MMOs are with a whole buttload of people. And we got the best community on Earth, so... What new game am I talking about? Ah, uh, Polya. I don't usually talk about other games when I play games, so I apologize for that, but I'm particularly excited for it. Um, I'm literally taking off, so this... Trying to just take as much time off the next couple of weeks. Well, I guess I'm only taking three days off, and then taking a couple days off after the beta. Uh, so I guess that's not... Yeah, anyways. I played fighting games like Street Fighter? It's been a long time since I played a Street Fighter. Big excited for Polya? Hell yeah. Desiree, why are you trying to get me to buy salads? I am broker than a dollar store hooker right now. Ooh, 143 votes for yes for Polya. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you are enjoying the Stardew Valley playthrough and you want more, you're going to get more anyway, so you don't have to hit the like button, but it helps. You know? It helps. All right, can we make another chest? Fish chest. All right, so the specific rain fish that we need to catch today, too. Uh, Faith, <laughs> read my mind. Every little fish is going to be all right. Is more people more fun because I like to show off my cool building and houses. Plus, we can do, like, house tours and stuff at some point. Go get them catfish. We got to get cat... Is that a river fish? That's a river fish we got to catch, right? And a pond fish. Let's put our fish chest here. This will be our new fishing spot. No way you're catching a catfish now? Watch me. Ye of so little faith, how dare you. No, gift it. This is a great gift, thank you. A warm brain is a pleasant way to get clean. Indeed. Just sign up for the closed beta. Nice. You can also get the eel in the ocean. I don't think I can get the eel yet. Oh, shoot. I did put the chest in the wrong spot. Thank you for the reminder of that. I completely forgot. That's almost the exact same spot that they sit. I have to go fix that. Oh, no. Oh, God. You know, I didn't even get a single level up last night from fishing, did I? Who are you going to marry? Who should I marry, Bree? Our fate is up to you now. Mm -hmm. 
here. Fishy, 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 fishy. God dang it. Such a tragedy. Mary Lewis. I'm gonna use a mod, right? Crobus, just have Crobus moving with us. I've never done that before. I think we should stay single. Hmm. Probably a good life choice. Let me just focus on the farm. Live our best life. Have half of as many bills. Ooh, for the fellow lover of space. Wait, you don't need kids for 100%, right? Which one of you stole all the freaking fish? Who's out there being a fish smuggler stealing all my fish? Or we could just date everyone. Stay single. Hmm. Man, we ain't getting no fishes today. McThickham's the floozy playthrough. Man, I can barely even catch a regular fish, let alone the catfish. Y'all might be right. Am I? <laughs> I might not catch the catfish right now. I'm doing the game's version of 100%. Not y'all's made up version of 100%. Didn't we have a hot girl summer last year? We did. Hot girl summer 2.0. Oh no. Hello. God, every time I go on this trailer now, I think about that one mod that I downloaded on that video that's a freaking nightmare, and now I have flashbacks to it, and it's painful. Oh, Lord. Right, so we need to give daffodils to Caroline, right? Daffodils, if memory serves. It's Emily up there. Wait. Green hair, right? Wait, who are we supposed to give it to? For the tea? Uh, come in, this one makes me feel weird too. I should just talk to everybody. Hello, child. Just sneaking in your house and talking to children. Nothing wrong here. Completely normal human thing to do. Watching my seven week old who loves your shenanigans keeps him distracted. Hope you and the community are doing great. Aw, GG, I hope you are too. Danielle, I'm doing well. How are you? Hot Girl Summer 6.0. Befriending the children is so tedious. <laughs> Such a creepy sentence. I just saw Barbie was amazing. So glad you're playing Stardew again. I've been working a lot. I miss the stream so much. Zozo! How the hell are you? Barbie, huh? I forgot that movie was coming out. Hey, kid, the name is Pam. Pam, the drunk driving bus driver. If you can have one skill you currently don't have... What would it be? Hmm. 
Whoops. Oh, it's closed Wednesday Scott. Dang it, Bobby. One skill I don't currently have. I don't know, I got all the skills. No. <laughs> um, I know. I've always... <sighs> hmm. I'm torn between two things. Um, I've never been musically inclined. I'm, like, tone deaf, can't sing. Uh, would never be able to make music or anything like that. Tried to learn instruments before. Not really uh, a thing I can do. Probably something along that li those lines. I don't know if I can get super specific. I'm trying. But, uh, yeah. Probably something, some, a little something, something like that. I don't know. Right, let's clean up the farm a little bit. You can stay in bed and not go to sleep to regain energy. Is that part of a new update or is that... It sounds like a mod thing. I don't remember Stardew ever having that. I was in band for like seven years and still can't read sheet music. I'm surprised you sing in the stream all the time. Um. Oh, did I screw up really bad? Uh. Alright. Suck a fish into our mouth hole. Boom. Alright, we'll put it here. I feel like nobody's gonna walk through this bush, right? spring onions yet? Um, no, not, not yet. We got plenty of time for that. I mean, it's spring day three. We got lots and lots of time, okay? We're gonna be okay. A multiplier? Yeah, I didn't think that was a regular Stardew thing. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> this fishing makes me want sushi. Oh, hell yo. You're so bad. God dang it. Oh, you're the worst. Oh, DH. Oh no, I'm sorry. All that work for a chub. Danica, oh no. It gets better once you get the rod upgrades. Do, 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 do. do I prefer mashed potatoes or baked potatoes? Definitely mashed potatoes. Although a baked, like tw d twice baked potato is where it's at. Where you like bake it and then you scoop it out and then you bake it again. You can add like sour cream, cheese, and bacon bits to it. Mmm. But mashed potatoes, it's hard to beat, especially if you don't suck at making mashed potatoes.
But twice baked potatoes, it's pretty good. I'm just not having good luck with the fishing today. All right, we should get our first level today, finally. I think we, ooh, our first golden chub. Although I did find an, an amazing thing for my air fryer. Usually I make mashed potatoes. Um, I don't bake potatoes very often, but what I did last time was uh, like I, I cut up the potatoes. So I cut them up into kind of like fine squares. I put them under water so they didn't like get funky colored. And then I strained them. But what I did was before I put them in the fryer, I shook them a little bit. So that way they get like a little bit of their potato bits falling off a smidge. And then I put like, um, what I put on it? It was, uh, it doesn't really matter what type of oil, but I use the, um, avocado oil. And a little bit of that salt, pepper, garlic salt, or, or garlic powder, whatever you have. Uh, ooh, it's coming from my booty. And then I baked them in an air fryer. And hot diggity dang. I mean, it's just like baking them, but air fryer is faster, so it's easier, I guess. <gasps> You're going to touch my plants? What a happy day. This is going to be a good playthrough. You touched the corner one, though. That's like, how dare you? Oh, baby! <laughs> the fairy touched you and your plants? Inappropriate! Living off the land, baby. Alright, what kind of luck we got today? Spirits are very displeased today. fan freaking -tastic. It's Gonna rain all day tomorrow. Nice. It's funny that we didn't get to water these, but yet they are the first ones to grow. <clears throat> Dying right now, I'm sorry. Let's water these bad boys. We're gonna go sell our fish. Usually I use them as sustenance, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell them along with these parsnips. See if we can get a head start on the potato stonks. I'm a big fan of the potato stonks. I feel like they're the lifeblood of the game. Dude, your mic is crisp. Did you put it in your air fryer? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not worrying about collecting everything right now. Like, uh, I, we're doing a 100% playthrough. I'm not gonna... I'll probably still try and get everything in the first year, but we also randomized the community center. So I don't even know what we need for the community center this year. Until tomorrow, right? Day five. So I'm not stressing about it. I'm not collecting anything. I'll just leave it there. It'll still be there. Not worried about it. We're just gonna have some fun, you know? Mm. Mm -hmm. Fried Mike. Yes. I'm air frying barbecue pork steaks since it will. I've seen people barb like air fry steaks, like actual steaks before. Which is like was painful to watch. And they said it tasted good, but I don't I don't know if I believe it. Has anybody done that? I won't shame you. I'm genuinely curious. But I feel like it takes just as long to air fry a steak as it does to cook one appropriately. Thank you all for joining for the Stardew playthrough. 
been putting off for a long time, but I really, really do appreciate it. If y'all like Stardew Valley, make sure to, if you're new, like, subscribe for more, you know, hang out. We're going to be playing this, Polya. Play a lot of, co we play pretty much every game under the sun. You might even be introduced to things that you didn't know you would like. Play all different types of games. <sighs> Bamboo pole. We're not spending any money on rods right now. Daffodils for Caroline, yeah. I sent a super chat, but I don't think it worked. Yeah, nope. Some people were saying that it was broken not too long ago. We have a ninja foodie that cooks steaks great. Really? Interesting. Do they have like a weird... So steaks tend to have like if you cook them in a... Uh... Longer than usual, they have... <laughs> Gamey isn't the right word. They have a certain taste. I've never tried an air fried steak. Mm -hmm. One with wolves. How have you been? Welcome back. All right. Potato Empire starts now. We're going to the potato stonks. I'm stressed booking a lot of flights, but super excited to be home for Christmas this year. I've been home in the past five years. Oh, Marie, that's amazing. That's awesome. I just got done booking because we're trying to go up to, to Ohio. We're doing a stop in Nashville along the way. And then trying to do a trip after the poly release to just relax a little bit. And book those flights too. Booking flights is never fun. Potato stonks. You know, we're just going to plan everything anywhere at this point. And I get super picky about anything. A microwave taste tag? Okay, that's not particularly great. You could just cook it. I mean, steak takes like five minutes to cook. Probably longer in an air fryer. <laughs> With a better taste. So I'll not be trying air fried steak. Mm -hmm. Get an engine. I have a really good air fryer. But if it takes the same amount of time to cook a not good steak as it does to cook a regular good tasting steak, then why not just do the regular one? I was just too lazy at that point. Wondering if I should buy Stardew on Steam or continue playing on the Switch. If you have a PC, I do recommend playing Stardew on Steam. If you've already played many playthroughs of it, because you can play it with mods, which I think is good. All right, so we're gonna get, we gotta go give this daffodil. I'll be right back though. Un momento. I'll be right back. supervision boop 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 
Yes, we got all the potatoes planted. We're good. You didn't pause? Oh, I'm good. If you don't move, it's fine. Ish. I was going to be gone that long. Y'all are crazy. Oh, I have an air fryer. Like, I, I fully get how an air fryer works. I love my air fryer. I highly recommend everybody get it. Ooh, goodness. Are you sure? Yes, take the daffodil. And talk to me. Hello, you must be McThickums, a new farmer. I'm Caroline. Yes, we're going to get you a sweet, sweet tea, and we're going to make all the money. All right, we'll talk to the lady who is so mean to us. All right, what else? So tomorrow we get the community center. We can finally see... What we get with the remixed bundles. Is it random? I've never actually done the remix bundles. Is it random every time? Or does it remix it to a standard remix? I assume that it fully just full-blown remixes it every time. Abigail with the 38 months. How are you? I'll see you here. I hope you've been well. I didn't know the 1.5 update hasn't come out. Wait, no, the 1.5 update's out on everything now, isn't it? The new island. Draws from a pool of randomized options. Okay. Ooh. I bet we're going to get, like, the most difficult version of it. Statistically speaking, over the course of our many years of playing video... Oh, my God. Oh, no. Stop, stop. Focus. Focus. I said focus. update to this game? Uh, 1.6 update comes out soon. Jesse, what it do? 1.6 is supposed to add more dialogue. There's supposed to be new events, secrets, and question mark, question mark, question mark. Also, better mod support, I think, too. Oh, no. Gotta get them sweet fishing levels, you know? I really like when I don't have to click a single time. Waiting for the next Animal Crossing to get announced, too. It's gonna be one of these years. You gotta take advantage of that sweet, sweet Animal Crossing money. Oh, Lauren, that's a pretty solid tip, too. I'll be playing Medieval Dynasty with the co-op. I knew about the co-op, but I haven't actually thought of playing it with the co-op. Maybe. Stinging fire. Thank you for the 36 months. Mm -hmm. Sarah, have a wonderful night. It was like a decade for the last Animal Crossing to come out, but... Nintendo can pump out a Pokemon and frickin' Zelda every year or two, so... Why not an Animal Crossing, right? I 
So was the gold tango 100% of the game? Anything else? Uh, have 15 children. Not just 100% of the game. That's 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 the main goal. And that's all. That's a lot already. Will I try and commute the communities or complete the community center in one year? Sure. Is it like a super stressful goal? I don't know. I'm I'm debating whether it is or not at this point. We'll find out tomorrow maybe. God dang it, Bobby. Oh my god. Why do you suck so bad? Probably because you're so hungry. I'm so hungry. Also, Nintendo doesn't make Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. Fishy, 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 fishy. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Gonna see if we can get kids to grow up in the next update. I don't think that's gonna happen. Ooh, our first iridium fish. Very nice. Was the vote a double baked potato? Double baked is always the way to go. As a fisherman, does Willie like being gifted fish? really quartz. You love sturgeon? What's the update bringing? Is it somehow tied to Haunted Chocolatier? No. We don't even know when Haunted Chocolatier or the update's coming out. Um, I don't have any info on the update, sadly. I wish I did, other than what's been shared on Twitter, which is just... We don't know how much it is. New events, new dialogue. Question mark, question mark, question mark, whatever that is. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I don't think we're gonna get anything too crazy. But we'll see. We'll sell these. Got some new items in stock. Deluxe fishing pole and some bait. Okay, yeah, I'm not. Ooh, 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 ooh. Georgia Mark customers. We should be able to go to the community center today, right? Oops. Want to plant some other things too. Cave is open today, so we can start diving into the cave. There's a lot of things that uh, that we can do today. Am I enjoying the playthrough so far? I always love Stardew Valley. It's it's relaxing. It's enjoyable. It's easily one of my favorite games. We're going to go grab some fish. We'll come back down, sell them, see if we can plant maybe some Malones. 
Yeah, we did a wilderness farm, so we got mobs that can spawn on the farm. Music runs through so much in the sound effects. Oh, yeah. Unless he wouldn't have played if it wasn't for me. I mean, honestly, I probably would have never played if it wasn't for all of you either. This is one of the highly requested games that came out of the... Uh, Animal Crossing times and absolutely fell in love with it. Truly. Like, if, if I could replay Animal Crossing with as much variety as I can replay Stardew Valley with, I'd do it all the time. Unfortunately, Animal Crossing is a Nintendo game, so it'll never have as much longevity as a, any game that comes out on PC. I'm gonna go till 9. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. See how much money we can make. Started playing Stardew because of you during your first playthrough. I was hooked. Oh, hell yeah. Stardew Valley Expanded is amazing. It's probably one of the best mods you can get. There's a lot to it. It has a lot to the game. I don't recommend it for your first playthrough. But I definitely recommend it for a second, third, or fourth, or whatever playthrough you're on. After your first. Alright, how much? Aww. Maybe we'll just go with more potatoes. I thought we unlocked the community center today. Clearly it has been too long. Or is it because it's raining? What if you have the dumb and don't know how to install mods? You have access to the internet. You have the entirety of the world's knowledge at your fingertips. And mostly with videos that literally point and click you to victory. The only excuse you have for not... Learning something is not wanting to learn it. It is very easy, is what I'm trying to say. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But yeah, starter mods is pretty much just a drag and drop. How do you catch so many fish? Just sit there and, f and fish as much as possible. <laughs> that's that's about it, unfortunately. Um, you can use bait. Bait helps a lot. Um... Obviously, when you first start out, it's just a matter of just fishing as much as you can. Uh, I should be fishing more today, but I want to get our potato empire going. Probably spend the rest of the day fishing. Like Fishing at the beginning of the game is so incredibly useful. Lots of extra money, lots of extra stamina. It's probably potatoes and fishing is one of the most efficient ways to start the game. In my humble but honest opinion. Unfortunately, once you get too many potatoes grown, growing, then it becomes a focus on getting through the mines to get uh, sprinklers set up. Which means getting to level 40 plus in the mines as quick as possible. Yes, we also need scarecrows to... Not too terribly concerned this early in the game, though. I played Graveyard Keeper. I've played a couple times. I was actually debating whether or not I wanted to do a Graveyard Keeper playthrough or a Stardew playthrough, but I went with Stardew. And yes, Abigail, I am playing unmodded. Hmm. <laughs> 
Tomato Empire till the 13th and strawberries. Exactly. If I tried Hot People Island? Yeah. So much more grindy and less enjoyable than, than Stardew Valley. Awesome, I hope you have a wonderful night. Oh, nice, Oscar. Whatever happened to Roots of Patra? We were playing it, but then a bunch of drama happened that I, I decided to just not play it. I was looking at it the other day, though. It does seem enjoyable. Oh, oh God. Oh, Lord. What the fuck is this? Man. I should have known it wasn't going to be a super good fish, but... God, it's the cat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe we're not ready for the catfish just yet. Lord have mercy on my soul. I am way too rusty. Mine? I don't know. I was debating doing the mine. We don't have enough stamina. I want to stock up on more fish. Because I make use the fish as sustenance throughout the mine. It's a decent amount of stamina. The tanks are urine for the mines. To the beach for the eel. Um, I, I I can only just do it now. But yeah, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go unlock the mine quick. Dang it! And I'll head down to the beach to try and catch the eel. Although we don't necessarily need it. We don't know if we do. We also might not get another rainy day if we get super unlucky. So I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard at the moment. I have played with a controller before though. Mm -hmm. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably ore down there, but a dark place understood for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Boyo. Yeah, take this. You might need it. Beautiful. Does the fortune teller and, like, good luck and bad luck days really affect your days or no? Yeah, yeah, no, it does. Uh, there's certain things that it affects, like your, your mining odds... Um, it technically affects geodes because the stuff that you get in geodes is rolled when you mine them. So if you're mining on a lucky day, the geodes that you get on a lucky day are going to have a higher chance of having good items. Um, but they don't re-roll on a lucky day. So it, it matters if, like... So basically, on a lucky days, you're going to want to do things that you're, like, for better drops and stuff like that. So 
so hungry. I'm gonna make kebabs for dinner. With some asparagus. And some potatoes, actually. Yes, we do have random bundles on. First time trying it as well. I've never done the random bundles. Uh, I think it'll be for a little bit of a different playthrough. Maybe more stressful, maybe less stressful. We don't know yet. Nice, Marie. Wait, did I? Oh, I didn't actually grab the fish out of the thing. Ah, oh, man. What am I having? What are we having for dinner? I'm making a filet mignon kebabs with asparagus and potatoes all on the grill. The sound effects are so weirdly nostalgic. It's so true. I always just get good vibes when I play this. Although it's been raining so much in this playthrough, it's like awfully like sleepy. Skirt steak with roast potatoes and peppers and onions. Ooh, that's very similar to what I had the other night. So we don't even know if we need any of the stuff right now. We don't know what we need for the bundle yet. What's going on, Patrick? How are you? What do I like to unlock first? The bus, the geode area, the greenhouse, the repair cart, or the prospector pan? Um, I usually try and unlock the, uh, the greenhouse and or the bus first. It's been a mix of both. Bombing level one. And fishing level three, baby. Hell yeah. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit shorter of a stream today. Um, I guess still got to prep for our trip tomorrow. I'm going to be trying to stream from the laptop while we're gone. So you might see slightly lower quality uh, audio over the next streams. I do plan on streaming while we're gone. Um, at least once or twice. Um, but mainly it's just to try and get a, away for a little bit before um, the Polya release. Because we're going to be playing a ton of Polya. we still got Diablo to play. Um, I mean, God, there's just so many games coming out uh, over the course of the next 30 days. But I do hope you all have a fantastic day. If you want more Stardew Valley, make sure to hit that like button. I'm going to be streaming as much of this playthrough as I can. And uh, maybe some videos in between as well. 